What is up y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing one of the most unique restricteds in all of Regulation G, Cosmoem. I got this over on the Pokesports Discord from Jayotic NL. Thank you, Jay, for making this team. It looks so powerful. Cosmoem is one of is the pre-evolution of Lunala and Solgaleo. And so, because it's a pre-evolution, unlike almost every other restricted, I guess I except like Cosmog, I guess. It can hold Eviolite, making its insane defensive stats even crazier. This thing is so hard to break that we are just doing a full stall team. We've got Glamora with Mortal, Mortal Spin and Toxic just to poison everything, and Toxic to breathe and to poison stuff. We've got Wochien to Leech Seed stall. We've got Incineroar to fake out and parting shot and intimidate and do all of its damage reduction. And then we've got a Primarina Gatatel combo with Parish Song and Shadow Tag. Cosmo M can just sit there after you set up Parish Song, never go down. Incredible. Now, Cosmo M's moveset is pretty interesting here. It doesn't learn a lot of moves, but the moves it does learn are these moves. It gets Cosmic Power to boost its already insane defenses to even higher levels just tanking hits all day. It gets Splash, which, if you know anything about Magikarp, is a move it learns. And also Teleport. Now, Teleport is an interesting tech. Teleport is a reduced priority move that swaps the user out to another Pokemon. It's kind of like a U-turn that always goes last in exchange for not doing damage. So if you want to get in something safely, say, Parish Song with Pre-Marina next to Cosmo M, and then get in safely to your Gothitelle immediately, there's a combo you can do. Because Cosmo M will receive the Parish Song, teleport out, it's not like Baton Pass, it doesn't stay, and then Gothitelle comes in fresh, hasn't been Parish Songed, is ready to fake out, and is trapping your opponents. Just an incredible combination. Also pivots well with the parting shot from Incineroar. I am so excited to be using this Pokemon. I'm sure we are gonna just mess up all of our opponents. And if they do win, it'll just because they're cheating and using like better Pokemon. But that said, let's get on to these battles. All right, they've got a Terrapagos team, which actually Parish Song Primarina isn't bad into. I like that. Uh, do I want to go with the Primarina lead, though? We are Terra Grass. We would be an obvious fake-out target. Uh, we have our own fake-out users. I don't know how fast they are. No, no speed on this. Um, I think I will go with Primarina and Cosmoem. Maybe that's a little silly, but I, I think Parish Song will be pretty good here. Uh, Wo Chien, of course. Uh, and then we need Gothitelle. What I can do is I can Parish Song and then I can Trap with Gothitelle uh, when I get Cosmoem off the field. It's an idea. Um, will this work? I don't know. Is Wo Chien the right thing to bring? I also don't know. Uh, getting poisons would be good, too. My worry about trying to get poisons... No, that's a good idea. Get poisons. Have Parish Song. And then Cosmo. Oh, I don't know. I changed my mind. I maybe should have gone with my first idea. Oh, Cosmo is going to be so hard to get a win with. <laughs> oh, that's a cool card, though. Okay. Yeah, because if I can poison Terrapagos, I mean... Okay, they didn't lead with Terrapagos. I think this is a fine lead. I think this is perfectly okay. We've also got Covert Cloak on Glamora, making it even better. And Terra Poison here. Uh, I guess Terra Poison would be bad against Terrapagos. But, um... Otherwise, Terra po Poison is fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I will just go for a mortal spin. And... Terra Poison. And... Do I want to Snarl? I think I do want to Snarl. Yeah, that's what I'll do. If I lower that those Fluttermane stats, I can get them to consider switching. If I just Leech Seed, that could also convince them to switch, but like... Okay. Uh, just an Icy Wind, which Flamora dodges anyway, fine. Don't care if Ochien is slow. We get both of our Toxics, or are you Covert Cloak somewhere? Uh, not Toxics, uh, just regular Poison. Uh, and the Incineroar Party Shot's fine. Fine. Totally fine. Now I can Poison whatever you bring in. And if it is Terrapagos, I'd rather get the bad poison. It could be. Just to threaten? Yeah, that makes sense. You very much threaten the Wochien here. But, I get a Snarl. Yeah, Terra Shell activates. Do we get the drop on Terrapagos? Oh, we get a crit on Terrapagos, that's cool. Okay, Fluttermane, we know we would get that one. No, the Terrapagos is, well, either Clear Amulet or Covert Cloak. Which is fine by me. Uh, I'm going to assume Covert Cloak. I will now Toxic the Terrapagos. It might be time to bring in Cosmo. And Cosmo can take a couple hits. Yeah, I think this is a great time to bring it. Oh, battle was cancelled. That's a W for Cosmoom. Let's go! Cosmoom did great. Okay, Tommy, you've got Zamazenta and Maridon. Oh. Okay, well, I'm not exactly playing Regulation G. My team's legal for Regulation G. But uh, I'll, I'll play you. I'll play you. Uh, Cosmo can handle this, right? It should be no problem, right? Right? It's not a problem, right? Uh, um, I'm terrified. That's all I can say. I'm really scared. Uh, Primarina seems okay. I kind of want a Primarina Cosmo. Um, because Glamora cannot poison. Unless I'm Corrosion, no, I'm Toxic Debris. I can't poison the Zamazenta if it's holding the Rusted Sword. So I don't think Toxics are the way to go. What's our Terra? Grass. Well, we don't have any Ghost Terras. It's gonna have to just be Wo Chien then. Wo Chien can actually take an electric move from Maridon. Um, if I'm forced to Terra the Primarina, I don't think there's a way to beat Zamazenta. But Maridon may force us to Terra Primarina. So, uh, so might Iron Hands. But I'm gonna make sure Cosmoem hits the field this time. We are gonna do something. And they are not ready for it. They didn't even bring a trainer card. Boo. They're not ready for this Cosmoem. Versus two, re they got both of the other restricted. I got none of them. Okay, Iron Hands and Lando T is their lead. Oh, Cosmo is so tiny. Oh, they're out of here. Yeah, they quit. They, they didn't want none of this. Let's go. Two dubs for Cosmo. Okay, Bernardo. Ooh, a mono dark team with a Sneasel. Okay. That is a terrible matchup for Cosmoom. Cosmoom's weak to dark. Uh, even though they don't have a restricted, I kind of don't have a restricted either. So this seems kind of fair. Except that I pretty much have to bring Cosmoom. It wouldn't be fair of me to not bring it. And they can just not. Okay. I do like Parish Song. 
I think if we're forced to tear a grass by the cat, we could... I mean, we're still gonna get the Parasong, so I'm gonna go Cosmo and Primarina Gothitelle. And then, do I think Wo Chien can wall them? I think so. Uh, my biggest fear would be like U-turns from either Greninja or the cat or the other cat. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to go with. So I think Wo Chien stall can work. Leech Seed hits all of those except the cat and the cat. Uh, Meowskarada, I mean. Finally figured out its name. Meowskarada. That thing was really good before, but isn't too relevant now. Aw, oh, Sleeping Charizard. I love Charizard. Charizard's my favorite Pokemon. That's my number one. Uh, but anyway, I can, I can Pollen Talk the cat. Not that cat, the other cat. Whose name I forgot again. Alright, they both have Fake Out potential here. But their Incineroar is Blaze. Okay. I think I just want to protect Primarina from, because there's such fake out potential. And I will Cosmic Power the Cosmoom now only because I want to teleport and Parish Song at the same time. So I'll Cosmic Power basically just do nothing this turn and protect. Okay, we didn't see any Terras, we didn't see any faster protects from them. We do see a fake out into Prim. That, that's what I wanted to protect from. That was my one fear. Oh, and a fake out into Cosmo. Not gonna let me get that, huh? Fine, fine, okay, that's fine. Uh, my one issue is that Incineroar could pivot out with Parting Shot or U-Turn, so it wouldn't be as trapped. But I still think, I mean, who knows what they have. I'm gonna teleport with Cosmo now and set up the Parish Song. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. Okay, Metal Claw, fine. You get some Rocky Helmet Chip. We get our Parish Song, we're faster than Incineroar. Good to know. And they Leech Life, ooh, okay. Oh, I've never seen the teleport animation in this game. That was kind of cool. Except that it came back afterward. And now you are trapped in here. Good luck. Parish count for everybody falls to three. Good luck. This turn I want to fake out and bring in Cosmoum. I'm a little bit more worried about what Incineroar can do. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Just make sure that this Cosmoum doesn't get knocked out right here. He's such a little guy. I like Cosmoum. And a Metal Claw into Cosmoum does no damage, thank you. Incineroar flinches. Thank you even more. Oh, the count's dropping. Alright, now I'm gonna protect Gothitelle. And I'm going to teleport right back out. Teleport is the best move on Cosmo. Because, like, you can get tankier with Cosmic Power, but that doesn't really do anything. Splash. Splash only does something if, like, you have all the right conditions, at least that's what my uncle who works at Nintendo says. But it's like basically impossible to pull off an actual splash. So most of the time it does nothing. That makes teleport Cosmo's best move. They hit all three triple axles. Good for you. Good for you. And they leech life Cosmo. Ah, oh, Cosmo down. All right, they took out my restricted. Ah, oh, man. What am I even supposed to do about that? My Restricted is now gone! Alright, at least their Parish count is now at 1. I'm gonna put Wo Chien in just as bait. I wanna bait them into attacking Wo Chien. Cause they got Leech Life, that's gonna be so juicy. 
I'm gonna just get Gothitelle out to free Marina and protect here. Gothitelle doesn't have to switch out here. I'm swapping Gothitelle because I'm afraid of getting hit by a dark move, maybe. Or Leech Life. Leech Life would do some damage. Pre-Marina just resists all that. Alright, Triple Axel. Yeah, that makes sense. Not gonna let you get three hits this time. I'm gonna get revenge for, for what you did to Cosmoam, and that was a good switch. They went Leech Life there. Okay. They did not fall for the bait. But Sneasel is gone. Get out of here, Sneasel. Show me another Rage Quit. Goodbye, Incineroar. Goodbye. I. Some people hate Incineroar. I'm not an Incineroar hater. I think Incineroar is kind of cool. I play Incineroar in Smash Bros. So yeah, it's cool there. And Liko's Meowskarada. Oh, I forgot to get that event. I want Liko's Meowskarada. Is that still going on? I hope that's still going on. Um, okay. I'm worried about you turn into Wochian, but I'm also worried about just attacking Pre-Marina and it goes down. So, I think it's better to tear the Pre-Marina here. And I'll just set up a Parish Song. No. I should go on the offensive here. I should Moonblast the Crocodile and Pollen Puff Liko's Meowskarada. Oh, they're going for a Terra too. Oh. Into Crocodile. Into Stellar. Okay, they're going for some damage here. They want to get through these Tablets of Ruin. They understand what's going on. They can't. They don't want to lose to Parish Song. Well, it's okay. I'm not. I'm not Parish Songing anymore. You're still gonna lose to a Cosmo M team. And Cosmo M put in work. Cosmo M being on the field protects other things. Oh, they have Skitter Smack. That is not where I expected a bug move to come out of. Okay, we eat it, but like that could have been better. Pre-Marina takes that well, at least. Oh, crit! Yeah, that's all. And Crocodile goes down. Yes, good job, Preem. Now let's see if this four times super effective move can take out a frail Pokemon. I am only at minus one, though, because they had they pulled out Skitter Smack. Not have I ever seen that. No, and they live. I don't think it gets any good spread moves. I know it gets Petal Blizzard, but I think I think it's pretty much toast. It's all it's all over for Liko's Meowskarada. We have taken revenge. Oh, they did have U-turn. Okay, Prue Marina lives that. So they almost went out on their own turns there on the Rocky Helmet. And good game. That's what you get for messing with Cosmo. He's just too strong. Nobody can handle him. All right, let's do one more. <laughs> cool Charizard, though. All right, Robin. Oh, you evolved your Cosmo M? This guy doesn't know you're not supposed to evolve it. He, did, he evolved it into a Lunala, even. Man. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Keep it as a Cosmo M. All right. Uh, what problems do I have here? Uh, they've got Psy Spam. I've got two Dark types. They've got Entei and Chen Pao, which is weird to see with an Ndidi. I don't really have any way to get rid of Terrain. They're going to be blocking my fake outs with that uh, inner focus there and the ghost type there. Ghost type also can't get trapped, which is a problem. We're going to have to take that with dark moves like Snarl and Knock Off. So I do think Wo Chien is good. I think Wo Chien is really good. Wo Chien I want. Now, who do I want to pair it with? Pre Marina, just to throw a Parish Song, try to get out into Gothitelle? Obviously, I'm bringing Cosmo in. I just don't think it's the lead this time. Could be a Glamora lead. Just spread poisons. 
try to stall with Cosmoum. And it's either Prim or Incineroar. I mean, Primarina has Terra Grass. That could help. I don't think I want the trapping. And also, if I'm stalling, Parish Song could help. So yeah, I think I'll go with this. I don't know. This is a rough matchup. Because I have Cosmoim. And they have Evolved Cosmoim. That's a fine trainer card. I don't know. Does Cosmoim gain stats when it evolves? I'm not quite sure. Like, I know Lunala is now a ghost psychic type, which is cool, but like, does that really matter? Okay, Indeedy and Amoongus is your lead? You're telling me you, you don't want any offensive presence at all in your life? I'm gonna hit a Snarl. And presumably someone's going to sleep, right? I mean, I could tear a Grass Glamora. I don't really care if I'm sleepy a little bit. Uh, yeah, I want to Snarl. Like, in case Amoongus has Pollen Puff or something. And I'll just throw a Toxic over on there in Didi. Start chipping that down. I have no idea what to expect. We, we both have such passive leads. They just go for Gleam. That did okay damage into Wochian. I don't, I don't like that, actually. Oh, it crit Wochian. Snarl does good damage into Indeedee, because it crit Indeedee. Okay, we got passive Pokemon smacking each other hard as they can. Did that Indeedee not get a stat drop? Is that Covert Cloak Indeedee? Or did I just miss it? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna slow play this, I think. Yeah, that either has Covert Cloak or Clear Amulet, because it did not take a special attack drop. Yeah, so I'm just gonna protect and I'm gonna burn my sleep turn here. Or am I? I don't have any damage into Amoongus. Hmm. Probably should have brought Incineroar. But yeah, I'll just protect Wochien. Try to wake up here. Helping hand toward the Amoongus? Now, this is a weird match, my dude. Obviously, you're going for Pollen Puff into my Wochien. You just want a little boost because you're at minus one. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I see that all day. I kind of wish I was Corrosion on this now so I could poison that Amoongus. I wanted Corrosion earlier, too. Alright, well... If I tear a Wochian, then I'm weak to Psychic moves. And neutral to Ghost moves. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to tear a Wochian. I'm going to get Wochian out of here. Into the safety of Cosmolin? Is it Cosmolin time already? Yeah, I think it might be Cosmolin time. And then I'll throw an Earth Power to Moongus. If I wake up in one. Because I just burned my one mandatory turn. Now I got this little guy out on the field. Yeah, they're going for the Helping Hand Pollen Puff again. I know you can take this, Cosmoem. You're a beast. Glamora's still asleep, but Cosmoem is a beast. This ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, we take that. We take that all day. You can't do nothing, Amoongus. You can't do nothing. I'm gonna click teleport. If they want to spore my Cosmoem, they'll be able to. And I'm actually okay with that. Uh, cause I want to try to get damage on this Amoongus. Oh, they swap Indeedy. Okay, they knew it was about to go down. They want terrain for later. They see that this is a long game. Oh, that looks so cool! Oh, I'm so mad I missed that event. Oh, boy. Oh, that is sick. Shiny. You you really sported the Cosmo M! <laughs> You're kidding me, right? That's hilarious. 
Okay, that's so funny. That is actually so funny. Uh, I'm gonna try to teleport out now. Uh, I think it's time to Terra Grass this. And send a toxic Lunala's way. <laughs> Why would you score Cosmo? What's he gonna do to you? You know it doesn't get moves! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still probably gonna lose, but this is so fun. Okay, we're faster than Lunala. Or maybe they're setting Trick Room. Which is like... I don't care. Nothing on my team cares what speed does. No, we're just faster. Meteor Beam I don't like. That means you're stronger now. And who did you target? Okay, you targeted an actual Pokemon. That's sad. We eat that, though. And we block the Spore, so that's good. Yep, Cosmo M still a little sleepy. Uh, weirdness is gone, that's good. That's really good. Alright, I think getting Wo Chien in would be good. I'll just keep clicking teleport on Cosmo. When I wake up, I'll get a free switch out of it. Oh, and I do have spiky shield on Glim. Yeah, I like that. Teleport, spiky shield. Just stall more of that toxic damage. I thought they might switch into a DD there, but they didn't, so that's fine. What? You read that and take out Cosmo M? No way. Aw, oh, man. And they go for a Pollen Puff. Onto their Lunala. I guess that makes sense. But, like, you're not ever going to get your Shadow Shield back. Not while that Poison is still there. If you have Meteor Beam, Expanding Force, and Moongeist Beam, I'm guessing you don't have Wide Guard. So I'm happy to bring in Wojian and hit you with a Snarl. But maybe I should protect Wo Chien just to see if they have Wide Guard. Because they have Wide Guard, then they just Pollen Puff Wo Chien, then I'm in trouble. Amoongus definitely needs to go in. Okay, Wo Chien protects. Show me Wide Guard. Nope, they just moon guys beam. Ah! That's rough. Okay. I got inside my own head there. If I had just clicked Snarl, we would be in a much better position. Because the Amoongus, the Amoongus is already at minus one. The Pollen Puff will do damage, but probably not too much. The way I've been protecting back and forth and they've been calling it all, I think they predict Pre-Marina to protect. Well, I can't click Perish Song now. I have not taken a KO. But I Snarl. And I... I guess I Moonblast Amoongus. It's my biggest damage into it. Oh, I thought they would read the Protect there this time. But no. Happy to just do big damage to Pre Marina. Do I get a special attack drop there? No. Snarl does great damage. And weakens up that Lunala a bit, which is very good. And they hit me with a Pollen Puff. At minus two, that does not very much damage at all. That's great. Love it. Uh, Amoongus could consider swapping at this point. They're at minus two. They presumably have Regenerator. I need to attack because I would fear Pollen Puff saving Lunala. So I will Snarl, but I'll also just protect Primarina. So they have Indeedee and Amoongus and Lunala. And a whole fourth Pokemon I don't even know about yet. It's Urshifu. Well, that's not too bad. Dark Urshifu. That's even better. 
Free Marina likes Dark Urshifus. Oh yes, and the Moon Guys theme, great. Uh, I guess maybe I should have read that play then, and gone for like a Leech Seed? But no, I couldn't have afforded the uh, Pollen Puff play. I still don't think I'm in a good position though. <laughs> Urshifu could win this. A Moongus on its own might win this. I do not have much damage that could hit a Moongus. I'm gonna pollen puff up the Primarina. Is that the right play? I think it is. And I'll go for a Moonblast into Urshifu. Uh, who's tearing, apparently? Okay. They're going for damage, I'm guessing. Unless they have poison. Oh, they have steel. That's just as bad. Ooh. Ooh, this is bad. This is not a good position to be in now. Oh! Oh, a Swords Dance! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, you can win. That's so cool. Swords Dance Dershifu? That's insane. Wow. Are you going for Pollen Puff or are you going for Spore? You're going for Spore. Ugh. I don't think I can win this. I might have had a chance if it wasn't Swords Dance Steel Terra. Oh, wow. Okay. Well. Don't give up. Can't protect from an Urshifu. And Primarina has a mandatory sleep turn. Perhaps I Snarl. That saves me from Amoongus' hit. Helps Primarina live long enough to get off a Hyper Voice? They go for Swords Dance again. Oh my goodness. They are insane. They really want to Oko Primarina because they're worried about the side Pollen Puffs. Pollen Puff in themselves, if that makes sense. They know I can't hurt them as long as they keep doing that. Uh oh. Uh, I guess I will Leech Seed, and I will Hyper Voice, and I will- Now they go for Wicked Blow. Primarina eats it, actually. And they take Rocky Helmet. Primarina's still asleep, though, so there's nothing I can do. Even if I had Pollen Puff that turn, they did over half. Oh, now they attack my Wochian. Hmm. I don't know, is there any way out of this? What would do more damage, a Spread Snarl or a not very effective Pollen Puff? Because it looks like a Spread Snarl is like 62-ish damage after Stab. So it's a little bit stronger. I doubt that's even close to enough. But let's see. Yeah, they Wicked Blow. Primarina goes down. I do get Rocky Helmet Chip. Oh, uh, and then hopefully they attack me, and then Snarl plus Leech Seed can take them out with a crit. Uh, that was not a crit. A crit would not have been enough to put them in Leech Seed range. And they Pollen Puff themselves. Well... Maybe you don't have close combat? Is this winnable if you don't have close combat? Is there a reason you don't have close combat? Yeah, Swords Dance, Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, Detect. If all you have is Wicked Blow. Do I have a chance? Hmm. No, they have close combat. <laughs> Never mind. 
goodbye, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I had, I didn't give up. You gotta give me that. A good game, Urshifu. Swords Dance, Urshifu. At least I beat the Lunala. Good game. All right, we are back, and Cosmoem absolutely crushed it. Three dubs that you might call technically dubs, but technically dubs are dubs. And only one loss to Lunala, which is like the evolved form of Cosmo M, so like of course it could never keep up with that. Like it's just Cosmo M, but like a little stronger and shiny. So Cosmo M being shiny locked is really what held us back there. Uh, but anyway, this is the last time I'm gonna be playing on the casual ladder for Reg G, because the ranked ladder is coming out now. So your Friday video from me gonna be actual ranked as long as I can get it uploaded in time and I won't be playing Cosmo M anymore because well I want to give my opponents a chance you know not everyone brings just an evolved Cosmo M so you gotta cut them some slack anyways I'm Jordy and uh all right peace <laughs>